Already here we are recording. Welcome, Lisha. Hi. And with today we're going to talk about giving samples and how to give those samples. Um, and again, we'll build a little bit on what we talked last week and we'll talk about the new information for today. So I'm going to, oops, I got to share this presentation with you. So hopefully you're seeing it right now. Yeah. Okay, here it is. And um, today we're going to talk about the seventh step of the duplication system, and that is how to do samples. And you know, um, it reminded me that when uh, my app line, Kenny, when he started, he was only able to do like five hours a week. And that's all he did, like one hour a day, just because he had other jobs. At the time he had three other businesses that he was running. So he can only do one hour a day. And these are just different samples that you, um, different steps that you can use, even if um, there is a little time constraints. And these are some of the things that um, he has done. So we started talking last week about doing a list. And I know you created your list with the 30 people, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And did you put their names and phone numbers? Um, just their names. Their names. Because you said you have their phone numbers in your phone, correct? Yeah. yeah. So, okay. So that is good because what we want to do is that we want to take this list of different families or different friends or different people that we had done business with. And we want to start helping them experience a little bit of what doTERRA oils are like. We talk about trying to find out people that's interested on fitness or on natural stuff. Because usually people that are green or organic, um, they are more interested on in taking care of their health with natural products. And um, we gave you lots and lots of ideas to start creating a list of 100 people. And is this list is not going to happen from day to night. It usually is going to take time to create, but we start with the list of 30 people because most of us have at least 30 people that we can start attacking with and um, sharing doTERRA. So these were some of the ideas of uh, that we did like a memory jogger to remind you of who you wanted to be talking to. Then to, we talk about creating a plan and this is a plan that we can start working on um, little by little, saying, well, if I'm, um, I'm going to try to work towards a, a doTERRA business and just try to decide this is how many hours I can do a week and this is how much I can achieve. Um, then we talk about a success check-in. And on this success check-in, we talk about your daily personal development, which is what we're working on by doing the training on a weekly basis and learning what we need to do, uh, having a team call, and we really are combining the mentoring with the team call. And also we talk about creating your name list because that is really the step to begin your business is to write those names and you already have that. So you're ready to begin because you have those 30 names. Once you have those three names, this will be a great tracker that you will need. And what we want to do is that we want to start, um, if you want, I can send you this via PDF, where you will start writing down what we're going to apply today. Today, we're going to talk about how to do samples and how to give samples to um, at least 10 people out of that list that we have. Because the most important part of a starting doTERRA business is to help people obtain a testimony of the oils. And that's why we created that three names list, because once we have the list, we will take 10 out of those, those three people and we'll start sampling them. And we call sample, giving them small samples. And then we'll start writing notes here of how or what their tasks are as we are giving those samples. That's what you can see here, that you have the day that you contact them, the day that you uh, gave them something to try, the day that you email them, and different activities that you're going to do with them to help them understand how the oils work. So mm -hmm. the way that we're going to sampling every single one of them is called a flow chart or a sampling flow chart. And this is the most effective way to help people have the desire to do doTERRA. Just because 
a lot of times if you just try to talk to people about the business they kind of like uh oh, no i don't want to deal with an mlm or no i don't want to do business but if you just share the oils with people then people likes the oils they start using the oils and then naturally they start sharing the oils so that okay. is why we're going to teach you how to sample people so here is something that says right here and let's see if i can get my cursor there but i don't it says try natural products is similar to trying traditional remedies if something doesn't work you don't decide to stay stuck you try something else until you find what works and when we found what works for you then we can have a safer and natural and a very cost effective way to help you with that issue for instance um as i said najila she just started that time of the month i mean she just started last september so her body is still trying to regulate and at first the clarity calm did great work for her i mean she was like whoa but then uh, her hormones are just kind of going a little crazy. So then you try deep blue because that's what my other daughter uses. And uh, yesterday the pain was so bad that we had to try Clary Sage. And that's what she just applied on her right now. So it's trying to find out what your body needs. At the beginning, Clary Calm did it. Deep blue kind of was okay for her, but it's the Clary Sage that is giving her more relief. Because the Clary Sage is one of the components that the Clary Calm has, but it's stronger. So that is now helping her. And that's what we want to do with people. When they have an issue, we want to help them with that issue. And then as we help them with that issue, we want to let them know that, look, we have many oils. And we need to find out which oil is going to work with your chemistry, meaning with your DNA. Because we all have different DNA. And we have talked about this many times. Your DNA is different than my DNA. So we just want to make sure that we find the one oil that your body works well with. And doctors do, do exactly the same thing. You go to a doctor, they give you Tylenol, and then that isn't, doesn't work. They may give you Advil, or they may give you ibuprofen, or so and so and so. And they're doing exactly the same. They're trying to find out which medication works better for your system. We do that, but we do with the oils until the body reacts and is has a positive reaction to it. So yeah. this is how we do uh, invitation for sampling. Take the 30 people that you roll and just choose 10. Choose 10 of those that are friends or family or people that you know, maybe somebody that's dealing with a lot of migraines, somebody that's having issues because they cannot sleep very well, or somebody that's having... Um, stomach issues or somebody that is having uh, um, teeth, uh, toothaches, anything like that. And then just choose those 10 people and I start um, just contacting them and trying to say, hey, I'm doing this new products and uh, they're natural products. And I'm trying to give some samples to somebody that would like to use natural products. I'll just give you like five drops. They will be for free, but I wanted to see if you allow me to try some samples with you. And then most people, everyone likes something free. <laughs> I mean, we live in a society that if you tell me that you're going to give me something free, I'll take it. Yeah. I remember when I was first married, Alicia, that the, I don't know if you remember, oh, I'm trying to remember the name of Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss books, they will come in a hard cover and they will give you like six for $1.99 if you sign up for them. And it was a 30-day sign up. I sign up to Dr. Seuss for $1.99. I like you have no idea. We have all of the Dr. Seuss collection. But as soon as that 30 day will come up, I will take off my subscription so that I will get the six books for free or for the $1.99, the shipping charges. Of course, that was about 30 years ago. But that's how I got a lot of the Dr. Seuss books for the kids. And they're still running around. I mean, I still see a couple of those books around. So anyway, yeah. we all like free samples. And that's why we created the list of 30 people because... You know, anyone likes, for instance, yesterday also, I, I was talking with a friend and she's having a shoulder ache and, I, and she's tried all kinds of stuff. And I turned to her and said, you know, there's something called Copaiba. I said, and a lot of people is really interested in CBD, which is the marijuana, the medical marijuana. I said, but Copaiba has a stronger properties than CBD. I said, would you like to get a video about it? And maybe I'll give you a free sample. And she's like, sure, I'd love to. I said, okay. So today I'm going to uh, put that video in my YouTube channel to send it to her 
So she can see when Dr. Hill explains why copaiba is better than CBD. And that's how I start talking to this friend about, that's all I told her. And she's like, yeah, sure, send me the video because I yeah, offered yeah. her a free sample. Once she watched the video, I'm going to give her like a free sample to try in her shoulder and see if that helps her. I'm going to start doing the sampling. And that's all we're going to teach today, that we're how to do samples. So take the 30 people and choose 10 out of those 10 people, out of that 30 people, and then just call them and say, hey, or say I'm doing a tryout and I'm having these 10 samples and I'm giving it to the first 10 people that are willing. That's something I see in Dan in Facebook too, where you put and say, I have 10 free samples. If you tell me what is something you're dealing with, you'll get a, a little sample of that. And then people will tell you, oh, you know, I need for headaches or I need for uh, tummy aches or I need for uh, sore throats or whatever. And then you can start sampling these people, but you give them rules. So here comes what the rules are. First, you need to invite them. So you never give somebody a sample unless they say yes. Because to just kind of give somebody a sample and they don't want it, they're like, ah, oh, thank you very much. And they'll, it'll be just on a drawer, they'll never use it. But if you give someone a sample that they wanted, the possibilities for them to use it is going to be a lot greater. So then you uh, ask them, well, tell me something that you're trying to take care of in your health. What is something that you're kind of, dealing with right now and let them tell you. Once they tell you whatever their situation is, then you try to go to your Mother Essentials book, um, which is right here. And remember, I have a little free book for you. Here's the Mother Essentials uh, book. I had offered you a little one um, if you wanted to accomplish those items that we had talked about in our last meeting. And I have a tiny little one that I can drop off for you. But you go to your Mother Essentials book and then you find out, or your, or your app, whatever you want, and you wanna find out, okay, what is the thing that they are dealing with? And I'm just kinda opening here in the book and saying, okay, let's see that the person tells you that they are dealing with uh, sunburn. And say, okay, uh, actually I have a sample in um, where a person burned their hand really bad and they use lavender three times a day for two weeks. And I'll, I'll, I'll put that in my Facebook page or I'll send you a picture of it. It was incredible. Their hand is totally fine now. Yeah. So it was really, really neat. So, and that's what you do. You just talk to people and ask them, what is something that you are working on or that you need help? Once they tell you what they need, you find the oil that will be good for them. And then you give them a little tiny sample with five drops, no more than 10 drops. I made the mistake to give people a whole bottle. And guess what? They use it and use it and use it and use it. Do they ever need it to buy more? <laughs> no, because I gave them a full bottle. So I made a lot of mistakes when I first began. So that's why I learned when I went to this training with Alice Sedeby that you only give a tiny little sample of about five drops, maybe 10, but no more than that. Because it's enough for them to use and see if it works but not enough where they don't wanna buy any from you. So you first invite them to try an oil depending on their needs. Don't do it something that you wanna give them, but something that is their need. Second, you deliver the sample to them, you give it to them, and then you ask them. You say, hey, um, this is how you use it. Can I call you on two days to see how it went? Because we always want to do follow-up. It's important that we do follow-up to make sure that they did use it and know that it got lost or that they just put it away. Right. And this is what we do after we check with them. Two days later, we call them. And we call, uh, usually calls work a lot better than texts. So we call them. And if they tell you that, it, oops, oops, I went way too far. Let's see. For whatever reason, I just lost my... Mm, let me get out. I can't find my, uh, there it is. I couldn't find my uh, cursor. So let me go back to the one that we're talking about right here. So once we get, once they, uh, we call them, there are two options that are going, or two things that are going to take place. One is that they are going to tell us that they have used it or they have not. So if they have not used it, we want to set, okay, uh, can I call you in a couple more days to see if you have used it? Because we want to continue to follow up. We don't just want to drop it. There is a statistic that shows that it takes seven follow-ups for anyone to do anything. 
And I was just wow. talking to someone about that. Even uh, when we did when we do Wood Bash, which Mark is there right now, it takes seven times to tell people about Wood Bash before they sign up. Whenever you want a person to buy a product, it takes seven times for them to be familiar with the product for them to want to use it. And you even mentioned that in our very first class. Do you remember when you said, you know, Fado, when you hear those people in the middle of the night that they're telling you, oh, use da, 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 da. After you had used it so many, t after you have heard it so many times, you almost feel like you're familiar with them because you have heard it so many times. I don't know if you remember making that comment. Yeah, I do. Do you? Okay. And yeah. that's what it's called the, uh, the follow-up. It takes seven times for people to listen to the same thing in order for them to want to use it. So that's why we also want to follow up. Now, if the person told you that, yes, they use it, we want to ask them, okay, how was your experience? Tell me about it. Because we want to know if they had a positive experience or if they had a negative experience because it's possible to have both. So now, if they say yes and the experience was super good, hey, that's great. And why we want to do that? Because once they say it was a great experience, then uh, we want to invite them to do a class. The reason why we did the list of 30 people is because um, I wanted to see if we can now, in the next couple of weeks, do a class in your house or my house with those people that you are sampling. Because that's where how we start building doTERRA little by little. First, we do the samples. And once they have sampled, we invite them to a class. Now, that's not a class that you'll give because it'll be a little frightened for you to start giving it the class. I'll start doing those classes. And the first time I do the class and you kind of give a testimony. The second time we do where I do half of the class and you do the half of the class. And the third time you do the class and I give a testimony. And we do that for the first three months just to help you out on how to do classes in your house and how to help people have the desire to learn more about doTERRA. So that's the purpose of first we do the list, then we choose 10 people, then we start sampling with those 10 people. If they say yes, they had an awesome experience, try to record it. Have them say, hey, would you send me a, a video saying why it was your experience? Or can I record you right now saying? Because those are good things for you to put in your Facebook since that's what you want to do right now. Because it will help you to have those testimonials for people. Now, if they say that they tried, but they did not have a positive experience, this is very important of what we need to do. So let me enlarge it. We want to ask them, well, tell me what happened. And you really want to listen. I mean, just say when Najila says, no, Chloricom is not helping me, mom. I wanted to listen to what she said. And then I thought, okay, what else can I help her with? Because her body is not reacting. Although I remember very clear back in September, the very first time she used Chloricom, how she was like, oh, mom, this is amazing. My pain went away. She was in my room and she was so excited. But now almost what nine ten months the, her body is not reacting to it so you always want to listen once you listen you want to restate their experience say so, okay so you feel like it didn't help you or uh, you didn't like the smell like in the ca case of a store you want to listen to them be patient understanding what they're saying and then you want to find another sample and say okay uh, what if we try in the case of my daughter I say let's try deep blue let's see if that will help you because we always have many other options for them to try. And we, we want to explain, and that's what I did with her yesterday. I was actually at work yesterday at the office, and I said, isn't that nice that we can try all kinds of oils and none of them will have side effects. They're all natural. So we always want to listen. We want to restate their experience, why it wasn't a positive experience. We want to ask them to be patient with us Sorry, my internet seems uh, that it was disconnected. We want to be patient. Uh, we want to ask them to be patient. Say, look, we're going to find the solution. Just give me time to find. And then we want to give them a new sample. So that is when they say yes, if they have used it. So now moving forward, um, when we invite them to a class, there's a whole process for the invitation to a class. And we'll talk about that in just a minute and see if this, that's something. I know that you're going to start doing your uh, Facebook classes, which will be really good because there's a lot of people that are doing the classes online and that they're having success that way too. Uh, but if you want to start doing some classes, either in my home or your home, we can also work on those too. But let's move to what if when they said, 
You call them again and they say no. So what do we do then? So here is that. Let me see if I can open it a little bit. Okay, so sometimes we call them again and the person says, oh no, I forgot to use it. When I was feeling really bad, I just totally spaced it. <laughs> so usually what you wanna do is say, okay, so do me a favor. If you get a headache again, I want you to think of me and text me and say, oh, I have a headache. <laughs> That way, you call them when they text you and say, look, and then you say, open the bottle of peppermint and just put some on your temples, put some on the front of your head, put some of your loops on the back of your neck. And then you want to actually help them experience it right there. That's why you want them to text you when they're having the problem so that you can remind them how to use it. Because sometimes people is so used to that, oh, I'm having the pain. Simply they go and do it what they're always used to doing it. This way, we're going to help them to change the habit and do something natural. So by then texting us, we're able to call them in the moment that they're having the problem and having them experience the oil. It usually takes a few seconds for them to experience the oil and for the oil to start working. And then we want to ask them, okay, don't tell them what they should be feeling. And that's something that I made a mistake many times. I would tell people, okay, are you feeling like hot or cold or refreshing? And Dr. Uh, Cesar Ray, who is one of the doctors in doTERRA, he said that the oil stack by themselves. So when you give somebody the oil, let them experience for themselves instead of you trying to tell them what they should be feeling. Okay. After, they'll be like, huh, it felt a little cool here. Or they'll be like, wow, this is strong. My eyes are wanting to water it. So you want them to experience it on their own. And then once they experience it, then you can start helping them and say, okay, tell me a little bit more about it. And have them maybe use it when they put on their hands, rub it and use it automatically and explain to them there's only one connection between the nose and the brain. And that's why aromatherapy, uh, aromatherapy is therapy is so good because once you can smell it, it goes directly to your brain and your brain go through your whole body trying to find the problem and solve the root of the problem. Mm -hmm. So it just helps them experience it in the moment that you make the phone call when they text you and say, hey, I'm having the problem right now. You call them, you tell them what to do so they can experience it. Mm -hmm. And if they don't have a positive experience, again, listen to them. Restate why they have a positive experience. Ask them to be patient with you until you find the proper oil and explain to them that their DNA is different than yours, that most people have used this oil for that particular ailment and it has worked, but we have many other oils and even show them, you know, in your app or in your book, how the book shows about, I wanna say one, two, three, four, five, five to six different oils for the same thing. Why? Because we all have different chemistry. And that is how we start sampling people what we call a sampling people to help them understand how the oils work. But that is why we don't give them too many drops because we only want to give them enough for them to try to use it, to have a positive experience. But if their body doesn't react positive to it, we want to give them a different sample until we find the sample that works for them. Once we find the sample that works for them, we can invite them to buy it and we can send them a link generator, and we can invite them to a class. So any questions this far? No. no. Okay. So this is how the whole, oops, oops. See, I'm giving you, this is how the whole sample flowing chart works all together. Let's see if I can just. Okay. So the whole sample chart works in the fact that you first invite them to try a sample, then you deliver the sample, two days later you check. Now, when you sample, these are just the keys for your sampling. You wanna sample one, what that person needs. Right here it says it very clear, what the person needs. You only wanna give them two days supply, five, 10. It says here 15 drops. You only wanna give them enough for two days, no more than that. And then 
you want to start with the easiest healthy issue. I mean, if, they're, if they tell you they have cardiovascular problems and they tell you they have head issues, you want to start working with the head issues, not the heart issues. Because yeah. you, you want to solve that they don't get a headache before you're trying to work on something as hard as the heart. You want to show them how to use it. When you go to their home to deliver the sample, you want to show them. You want to open the bottle. You want to put it on your hand. You want to rub it. You want to inhale and exhale. You want to put it in your temple. You want to put it whatever or for whatever purpose you're using it. Why do I use it first? Because sometimes people are skeptical, especially if it's someone that you do not know. They'll be like, hmm, really? I'm not sure I want to use this. I have someone that says, this is snake oil. I don't know that I want to use it. (laughs) So I learned to always put it on me first so that the person has no concern. Like, I'm using it, so it's okay for you to try it. Does that make sense? Yeah. Then you want to call them in two days. We always want to call because it is through a phone call that you can get feelings. If you text somebody, uh, you know, you can hear words, but you can't hear feelings. And a lot of times, this is what is most of the time, 80% of the time going to happen when you call somebody. Hey, Alicia, did you use that peppermint that I gave you? Uh, Oh, you can just hear it right there. Like, uh, so you immediately know they didn't say, oh, don't worry, you forgot. Or that I had a neighbor that was like, oh, and I said, don't worry if you didn't use it, not a big deal. She's like, actually, I lost it. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, no biggie. But I wouldn't have known that if I wouldn't have called her because you don't hear that expression when you call in the text. And that's why it's important to call people. And then again, so when we call them, we're going to get the either the yes or the no. I want to say that about 5 to 10% of the time you'll get a yes. Because most time people forget. Life gets busy. We all have tons of things to do. So we forget. So that's why when we want to, if they say yes, we're going to be so excited. Tell me about the experience. What do you think? And I love it when people tell me, um, I just had someone that, Oh, I want to remember what is their problem. They have like a digestive problem and they use deep blue for it. I have never heard anyone doing that. And I was like, you do? And they're like, yeah, and it works. And I'm like, really? But as I started thinking and analyzing, I thought, why will deep blue work for this person that has digestive problem? Well, deep blue has peppermint in it. And peppermint is an anti-inflammatory. And sometimes when you have digestive problems, it's because the walls of your stomach have inflammated. And I thought, then after I started thinking about it, I thought, oh, now I know why that works. So that's why you always want to, once they use it, ask them, tell me about it. Why do you use it? How do you use it for? Because sometimes you learn. And I always ask people just to learn. And then if possible, and if the person feels comfortable, say, hey, can I record you just so I can put you um, that as a testimony? Or do you mind sending me a text with it? And that way you have testimonies and you can start having those little testimonies in your in your social media. Okay. Now, if they tell you the experience was not positive, things were not as good as you would hope, listen to what they said, restate their experience. Ask them to be patient with you until you find the right example, sample and then give them a new sample. But don't forget that when people told you they had an awesome experience to invite them to a class. Now, if you, um, if you decide not to do live classes yet, uh, meaning in your home, let me know because I, I do um, try to do them on a regular basis so we can just have them start coming to, to my house. But I'd like you to be here just so, uh, you know, once we collect five or 10 people from your people, because then yeah, once we do a class, if they sign up, we, we'll want them to sign up under you. So the whole purpose of sampling is to get to the point that we can invite them to a class. And usually we say, hey, we usually do a class the fourth Thursday of every month at seven o'clock. Love to have you come in and learn more about the oils. Now, we try to give people a minimum of two to three different samples so that they have different testimonies of the oil. Why do we do two or three different samples? Because we want them to really understand that the oils work. So when they come to a class, we usually try to get a group of 10 people to come to a class. Eight of them would usually show up and five of them would usually sign up. 
And that is what the statistics show. Just as much as the statistics show that we need to do seven follow-ups before a person actually comes to a class, the same way we have a statistics of the classes. And that's why we want to do sampling people until they have good experience so we can invite them to a class. Now, if they say no, they didn't use the product, we want to redirect. We want to say, okay, um, and that's okay. We understand life gets busy, da-da-da. Uh, do you mind? One thing that I have tried to use now is saying, hey, why don't you text me when you have a headache? And I'm using headache as an example. So that they can just text me. Or when, when you have a tension ache, if we want to be in compliance, we don't say headache, we say attention ache. Um, why don't you text me? And then we'll talk. That way, when they text me, I can uh, help them to use the oil in that very moment to see what kind of experience they have. And again, we'll have two answers. Either they have a good experience or they have a negative experience and we continue working on. And just don't be afraid when people have a negative experience with the oils because it is natural. Um, yeah. Tell me, have you ever gone to a doctor and they give you something that doesn't work? Yeah. Uh, tell me about it. Or do you remember? Do you recall anything in particular? Yeah, it was medicine for anxiety, and it just didn't do anything at all. So then, of course, they try something else. But I can't remember. I haven't used a ton of medicine. And I usually try to use the doTERRA <laughs> Yay! so that I don't have to go to the doctor. I hate going to the doctor. So, but no, I get it the same way though, because Jordan is very sensitive and not everybody is sensitive to lavender because lavender is a pretty mild thing. But Jordan, since she was little, like she would just get this big bright rash from it because of how sensitive her skin was. So the only way I could use it is if I diluted it. Wow. A lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah. And there are some people that are very, very sensitive and they have to dilute it with fractionate coconut oil in order to yeah. help them out. So, so what are you, are you just diluting it with oil, coconut or what kind of oil are you diluting it with? Yeah. I use the fractionated coconut oil. Do you? Okay. Good, 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 good. So, yeah, that's good. Now, Mark uses peace for his anxiety, and that's what helps him. I mean, he just loves it. He just... He uses peace? Mm-hmm. Okay. Have you heard of that one? Uh, no. I'm trying to collect them all. So I figured out the system of the best way to do the PV orders. Good. Tell so me. You, you, <laughs> I'm sure you already know this. Because you get more points when you order just the oil, opposed to ordering a product that is not just oil. Yes. So I learn, get that first, then you get more points <laughs> to get all the other fun stuff mm -hmm. <laughs> that you yeah. want to have. You get one, one point per dollar when it comes to oils, but yeah. for everything else you get, I want to say like 75 points per dollar. So yes. Yeah. It's better to get the oils. Now, I get oils one month, and then I get uh, beauty products another month and vitamins another month. I get my shake every single month, and then I get detergent. You know, I have a whole set of what I buy every single month because I do, instead of going to, you know, a departmental store to buy my shampoo, my yeah. soap, my detergent, my um, cleaners, I do it with doTERRA. So that's what I do. Uh, but I do have all the oils already. So I just refill the oils as they come in. As, as I, you know, use them, then I refill them. So that's yeah. what I do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But let me show you. I was going to show you about peas. Give me a second. So let's see. So there is this one called peas right here. And this is what Mark uses. Um, are life anxious moments leaving you feeling overwhelmed and afraid? The Terra Peace Reassuring Blend of Floral and Mean Essential Oils is a positive reminder you don't have to be perfect to find peace. Slow down, take a deep breath, and reconnect with composed, collected you. 
everything turning out fine begins with believing it will, a few drops of peace reassuring blend. And what he does is that he uses in the office because it's really hard when he's at work, all the people come in with their problems and yeah. he just diffuses it. And once in a while, he puts it on his hand and breathes it in. These are all the oils that has. Vetiver is an, a really incredible oil. Lavender, yin yin, this is a calmer. Frankincense that helps with your cells. Clary sage helps with pain. Marjoram. Um, I use margarine for my bunions because I have a bunion on my feet and it hurts at night. So I put margarine and it's doing wonders for me. And you have oh. a spearmint herb and spearmint just kind of has this fresh look, a smell to it. So anyway, that's what Marge uses for his anxiety, and it just Can helps him quite a lot. you take that one in, in a capsule, too? No, this one only comes, let me oh, show you. Okay. Yeah, only yeah. comes in oil, and it comes on, um, also on diluted. So for people that are sensitive to the pure oil, it comes diluted. So the diluted one is a little bit less. As you can see, this one is only 20, and this yeah. one is 30. So this is the one that's completely 100% pure. And this one is the piece, but with uh, coconut oil in it. Okay. Okay. So anyway, so that is today's class on how to learn to do sampling. Because um, the purpose is to start building the building your business. So take your three names. Uh, if you want, maybe do five. And see if you want to start sampling those five people so you can start building, even if it's, you know, a few uh, an hour, a few hours, a couple hours a week, just so you can start sampling people and getting people to gain testimony. Because once people have testimonies of the oils, that is when people will start being interested and do a class. And, oh, let me show you something else. doTERRA, you know the little bottles that doTERRA sells or do you, or maybe not? Let me. Let me show you what I mean by them. Uh, the sample bottles? Yes. Yeah, I ended up getting a whole bunch one day over at the Aroma Tools. Oh, good. So you have them. Okay. I, I wonder if I have those really teeny tiny ones because now that you say put five to ten drops, that's even better. <laughs> yes, because the, there are some that you can put up to 40, and that's way too many. I mean, you will yeah. spend so much money doing that. Yeah, it's expensive. Yeah, it's way, way too expensive. So that is why. And now, I just, do you dilute it, the 5 to 10 drops, or you just put 5 to 10 drops? I just put, I put 10 drops, you know. Okay. So here is the why, do it yourself. If you go there. Uh, so you see this one's right here. Is that the tiniest they sell? Um, I buy the ones that are super tiny. So these oh, are. I, yeah, there's that. That one's probably smaller. Yes, and in fact, let me show you something. If you go to Amazon's, because I have bought I bought them in Amazon's at one point. Um, if you go there, sample. It's, I think if I say sample essential oil bottles or bio, let's see if I can find it. Because there are two sizes. Okay, so do you see this one force? Yeah. Um, and then, and there are the ones for the rollers. <laughs> Look how little those others are. Oh, I like that roller one. Yeah, yeah. but these are, these are the ones that I have. Do you see this? Yeah. Yeah. These are the ones that I use. That way, they're, in fact, yesterday, I just had a lady at the office, um, one of our seamstress. She actually burned her face a little bit with the iron while she was working. Oh. And and I was like, oh, no, what happened? And I have my little doTERRA, little, you know, the black yeah. little bag. Little... And I keep those one, the one millimeters. And I just gave her the lavender. And I said, just put it three times a day. And I said, and see how it works. So. I'm doing sampling. I mean, I have two people that I sample with yesterday, and that's how I do it. I just yeah. have my little bag in my Copaiva is no one that I carry. Otherwise, I will have given it to her, and she's somebody oh. I do scouting with. But to the seamstress, I just gave her the one I had in mind, and I don't have more. In that one, I had about 15 or 20 drops, but usually I give five to 10 drops so that they can try it and see if yeah. it works. Okay. Yeah. So, so Copaiva is good for the burns as well. No, copaiba is good for chronic pain. Oh, okay. So that's what's good. As soon as I put the video on YouTube, I'll send it to you so you can see it. 
But okay. that's what she said. So lavender is for the burn, but copaiba is good for chronic pain. And that's what okay. I use it for. And that's that's for Dr. Hill. Um, yeah. Yeah, I did watch that video. Oh, did you? Okay. So that's what Copaiba is good for. Yeah. So let is me it? show you uh, then uh, my task for the day. And okay. hopefully if you want them to work on uh, sampling about five people this week, that'll be great. I'll leave it up to you. Okay. But this is your uh, thought of the day. If you want to achieve success, then don't doubt your dreams. And I like this because a lot of times it's hard, you know? Uh, it's hard when you don't see. Am I, I'm hearing myself. Are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah I'm hearing you, but it's not echoing. Is it echoing or not? No. Oh, okay, good. So anyway, I just love this stuff because in order to achieve success, you need to stop doubting yourself and doubting your dreams and go for it. And I know sometimes that can be hard, and especially when there are other things in life that are pushing us, but give it whatever time you can give it, and you'll see that you'll, you'll see oh. something happen that will be for the good. You can start growing as small as possible, but you will grow. Yeah. yeah. So, so anyway, so that's, that's that. So let's see if you want to try to sample some people this week, and let's see how, the, how that goes. Okay, I'll have to go find my little bottles. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we'll plan on seeing you next Monday then, if that still works for you at the same time, yeah. same channel. Okay. Thank you so much. All righty. Thanks, Lisha. All right. Have a good day. Okay. You too. Bye-bye.